Welcome to my channel. Let me show you how to do a romantic updo. I started off laying my edges into these little swirls. I'm using Stay Sleek Edge Control from my brand Keeny Hair. And I love it because it doesn't leave me with a white residue and my edges last all day. I'm gonna link everything I used in the description. The tail comb really helps when I'm trying to do precise little shapes in my edges. I decided to leave a few strands out in the back because I'm going to curl them later. Then I use Got To Be to smooth everything into a little top knot. put the bun right at the top of my head so you can see this whole updo from the front. I did this with 24 inch hair. You can definitely use shorter hair. When I'm sewing in tracks for a ponytail, I usually start at the very, very tip of my bun and then work my way down. It was about 1 a.m. at this point and I was all kind of tired. The moral of the story is tie your edges up. <laughs> Now you don't have to sew your ponytail in, but I wasn't in the mood to have all them hairpins in my head. <laughs> Make sure you're lock stitching at the end of your sewing so that you don't have to worry about anything coming to loose. Now because this is going to be a bun, it doesn't really matter too much, but in any other instance, the wraparound is so important. You got to make sure you spraying it down. Hit it with a blow dryer till it's fully dry. Also, this hair is natural straight, so I had to put it up into about 10 big pin curls. Look, don't be like me. Make your life easy and use some hair that's already curly. Now, I love a good Marcel iron. I love the clicking. It gives you so much control when you're trying to get like really sleek curls. I don't know if that makes me old school. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all like these or the regular spring irons? Pin curls are really good to do when you want your hair to last. Never sleep on a good pin curl set. While hair is hot, it's still so pliable. So if you just let your curls just drop right out of the iron without pinning them up, they won't have any memory. They need a chance to cool down. Then when you take them down, you get these freeze curls that ain't going nowhere. Now it's 
time to start rolling them into the updo. It's kind of just like the pin curls, except now you'll use bobby pins to secure them to your head. Now this is a really important pro tip. Whenever you use bobby pins, that's the ones that are closed, don't just use one. You wanna use another one that's going in the opposite direction and cross it right over the first one like a X. This like locks the position of your bobby pins. I like to leave the tips out and use them like a dressing on the top of the updo. The higher you start to build your updo, you'll wanna to switch to using hairpins that way it doesn't mess up your updo and pinch your curls together and you'll notice some hairpins have a little texture to them that's the best because they don't just like fall right out of your hair and you can get creative on where you put every tip I redid these so many times. I like to move them around, see how the silhouette of my head is looking. You can move it around, play with it. I'm always second guessing if I want to leave these little tendrils out. Sometimes they give it, sometimes they not. Let me know what y'all think. I love updos like this because you could dress them up, dress them down, and if you don't leave the tendrils out, it's humidity proof. Y'all, I just love teaching people how to do things with their hair. I feel like it gives you so much power when you know you can do it. Let me know what kind of stuff you want to see, if you want to learn something new, or if you want to just chit chat. Thank you so much for watching. I would really appreciate it if you guys like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.